Hey fellow YouTubers, what I have here today is the Amazon Echo Auto. We'll go ahead and do the standard unboxing, see how it looks on the inside, what all comes with it, and then we'll just go from there. So let's go ahead and open it up and see how it looks. Cigarette adapter, it looks like. Here's your aux cables. Micro USB cable, I guess it's using micro USB instead of USB C. And the Echo Auto. What else? This little thing looks like it might be the battery. Alcohol wipes. Okay, this is the stand for it. So it looks like this is the adhesive that sticks to your dashboard. And then this just connects to it. Let's see what else is in here. I'm guessing this is probably the manual. Yep, the manual for it. It's actually a pretty small device. A lot smaller than I was expecting it to be. You can get an idea of the size from here. It's a typical USB cigarette adapter here. You can see how close it is to that. Or compared to the alcohol pad. Definitely small, very light. Very light indeed. Looks like it just, oh, okay. Magnet. Looks like this is a magnet in here, and that's how it's held on to it. Okay, there it is. Micro USB. The aux port for it. Apparently, that's, that's about it. Just, so, we'll go ahead and Check it out and try setting it up to the Alexa app. See how well that goes. So looking at these instructions, it tells you pretty much to hook it straight up to the car. However, when I purchased the Echo Auto, I got an email from Amazon saying the first step we should do after connecting to the Alexa app is updating it because there's a critical update needed for it. If you don't update it, apparently it wouldn't work. So instead of connecting this car directly, I'm just gonna go ahead and power it up inside the house. I'll connect it to the app, go ahead and perform any updates it requires, and then we'll go ahead and hook it to the car after that. All right, so what I ended up doing is just installing the app onto one of my spare phones. That way I can record it while doing the install and everything. So let's go ahead and Power up the, the Echo Auto. Hello. Let's get rolling. When you can safely do so, go to your Alexa app and add a new device. Okay, now here's the app. Already on the devices tab, on the upper right hand corner, just hit the plus. Go ahead and add a device. Click on Amazon Echo. Here near the bottom, or actually it's in the middle, you got Echo Auto. Standard warning, don't set up auto while driving, duh, click continue. Now this is automatically assuming that you're setting it up in the car, which I'm not doing right now. I'm going to go ahead and set it up in the house to make sure I've got a good internet connection so I can do any updates necessary. Because where my car is, I don't have that great of a internet connection or Wi-Fi connection. 
It's telling you the best way to place the Echo Auto on the dashboard. Hit continue. It's telling you that you want to go ahead and let the app run in the background and access your location. Stop optimize. Yeah, you want to go ahead and let it run in the background so you don't want it to optimize battery usage, so I'll allow that. Allow the app to access device's location, allow it. Okay, now it found the Echo Auto. We'll go ahead and click on the device. Now it's going to set up the Alexa on the Echo Auto. Hit continue. It's connecting to it. It's wanting to pair. Click OK. Now it's asking if your car, if my car can connect to Bluetooth to play music. Yes, it can. It wants to the Echo Auto to access my microphone, so continue, allow it. It wants to test connection to the car stereo, which I don't have it hooked up since I'm not in the car. That's fine. Okay, that was, we'll just say it's successful so we can continue on. Allow calling and messaging, yes, we want to allow that. Allow Amazon Alexa to, to make and manage phone calls, yes. Allow it to send and view SMS messages, allow that. Wants to play some video on the basics. Welcome to your new Echo Auto. Just ask to play music, set reminders, find the nearest gas station, or make calls. Here's a playlist you might like. Skills are like apps. With over 50,000 skills and counting, you can use them to make restaurant reservations, play games, or listen to podcasts. Use your voice to control compatible smart home devices. Adjust the thermostat or turn off appliances while you're away. You can even set up location-based routines, like turning on lights to start automatically when you get close to home. Welcome to your new Echo Auto. Right now, continue. At this point, it's supposed to have a critical update that the Echo Auto needs, and according to the email, it's supposed to download automatically. And once it's done downloading, the next time I reboot the Echo Auto, it should automatically apply it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the phone alone as it is and see if it will download the critical update and then I'll see about rebooting the Echo Auto in a little while and verify if it's applied or not. So we'll come back later and see how it looks. Okay, well I'm not sure if it updated or not or rather if it downloaded the critical update because it's not giving any notifications that it was even downloading anything. All it said was that it would apply it after a reboot on the Echo Auto. So let's see if anything happens. Yeah, well, there's nothing on here showing an update's occurring or nothing like that, so I guess that's pretty much it for the setup. 
At this point, all I gotta do is just make sure I can Bluetooth to the car and it's all done. This right here just prevents the mic from working. You turn that off. And at this point, it'll listen to me or you just, like the other devices, just push the button. And you see now it's listening to my commands. What time is it? It's 6.03 p.m. So the auto is working through Bluetooth using the, the Alexa app on the phone. Hmm, I don't know that. And I'll just turn the mic off so it doesn't respond to my commands. That's pretty much it, other than not being sure if the, the critical update occurred or not, or if there even is one. But according to the Amazon email I got, there's supposed to be a critical update, so I'll probably just leave this running for a little bit longer and just see if it, let's see if there's any kind of a notification saying it downloaded or not. The email did say that the download could take up to 20 minutes, but at the same time I would expect it to give you some kind of a notification that something is being downloaded, but there's nothing at all. So I'll just leave it, I'll leave it alone, let it run, see what happens, and if it does do anything then I'll, I'll bring it back up and I'll record it. But if nothing else happens, then I'll just go ahead and leave it at this. All right, well, thanks for watching the video. I hope you got something out of it. You see, like I said, this is a pretty small device, pretty lightweight. I need to go ahead and figure out where I want to place this on my, my dashboard. And then make sure the Bluetooth connectivity works pretty well to my car. And at that point, I'll just test it out within the vehicle while I'm driving. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed the video. And like I said, if the critical update actually does occur and it gives me some, and if it gives me some kind of a notification, I'll go ahead and record it again and append it to this video. Otherwise, if not, then this will be the end of it. All right, thanks for watching.